go even further beyond! My name is Akashi and this video we are going to be covering the Elite Soldier N event. Uh, it's kind of a Dokken layout but it doesn't work the same way Dokken does but you know what I mean by the layout. And I'm just going to be going through everything. The best, the best order I believe you should tackle this event. This Elite Soldier N event isn't new however they did change a few things in it so it's going to be considered as an updated version. But I'm going to cover it much differently like I did the first, than I did the first time because when I tell you there's a lot of different things that you have to actually take in for this part um, of the guide and it actually interjoins slightly with um, the Forbidden Power Turles event but you don't need to watch that video to understand this video because I'm going to explain everything in this video because this is a video for this guide so um, before I actually get into the video if you haven't already make sure you press the subscribe button we on this grind to 10k subs people be watching and not subscribing but i'm surely to help you if you watch my guys my guys be going crazy they're hella informative that's me too in my own horn but you'll see by the end of the video besides from that if you have any questions make sure to leave a comment comments i always respond to them more than anything so make sure to leave one uh also all my social media links on the left this is the youtube channel but we have a twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below so make sure to check me out on those social media platforms i reply fastest on discord and twitter so if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, hey, i'll be replying there but um yeah let's actually get into this guide so i've already com completed everything that's th that this event has to offer because like i said this event is not new so the fact that I just opened it up, um, all these stars are already cleared. However, there's a lot of these clear today three times. But um, the first thing I want to advise you guys to do is to clear every single challenge, like every single challenge, every single battle. One, they have rewards. So if you don't have Nappa, you can get souls for him, which is good. Two, um, those souls are actually going to help you um, soul boost him. But I believe not all of them offer soul, souls for example this one here the reward is uh, z power so you're gonna want to clear it so you can use skiff tickets on it it'll just make your time easier than having to play this three times every day so if i was to use my skip ticks i'm not going to at the moment um there's a specific reason for that um but um it will just make it easier for you to clear them repeatedly every single day. So there's one left a day, so I can play that one time a day. And I'm going to want to because it will give me main ability drop. It's going to give me Z power. The main drop here, you can see literally Z power is the most important because you want to get Nappa to 14 stars. He's a free unit. He's a free to play unit. Why not? So yeah, clear everything. Clear all the challenges too. This one's new. As you can see, it literally says new next to it. Um, I'm gonna clear that on video actually so you guys can see it so I'll, I'll do that with you um, but yeah clear all the challenges and then you'll be set for part that's that's the first step now the second step I'm gonna actually show you guys um, the units that you should use for the actual event so if you go to the news every time an event drops they always give information in the news anytime the game updates they give information in the news if you're wondering how youtubers and stuff know it's in the news kind of killing my market but um i'm here to help you not to exploit you <laughs> so you go into elite soldier n and then um literally you can just scroll down they just tell you how the event works which is pretty common sense just play the play the event i don't really do all that reading but here i should put it on the side of the screen as well it literally shows you the boost of bonus abilities um, I'm not going to hold on to the screen too long so it should be on the right of the screen and you can see for every single type of drop there's a different type of boost unit so Z power Nappa if you want the Z power make sure you have these units um, they've got the new Turles and Goku there for the highest amount of drops so if you're wondering why you're not getting that like a crazy amount of drops it's because you're not using the new Goku and Turles uh, make sure you've got all these units for the screw I'm going to put what each item is on the screen as well the dented steel these are the units and the mystery part drop uh, these are the units so just make sure to follow the, these team formations you can as you see there's six units so that's six for your team formation pretty common sense 
besides from that it's just some, some more common sense that you probably don't want to read which is why this video is here uh, so that's some more useful information um, now let's head to the exchange shop once you've cleared everything now there's a certain order I always like to tackle if you've cleared everything for the first time then you're gonna probably have more materials than me I'll say that for a fact uh, I don't have any because I didn't clear anything I, didn't, I haven't tackled any battle in this event so you can see that there's energy tickets mainly and skip tickets these two are the most important this exchange shop isn't as good as the uh, Turles one but um, you can go ahead and purchase these they look pretty cheap but you can buy a high quantity of them I have 14 stars on these two kids I think pretty much everybody in this shop so I can't buy any of these so from the looks of it for me actually unless I just want to buy these equipment which I really doubt I'm going to this event is useless for me personally and for any OGs that played it the first time round or they've just been playing early in the game because there's nothing here for me honestly except for the skip tickets and the energy tickets now the reason why I recommend actually playing this event for the energy tickets and skip tickets because you can transfer them and use the energy tickets and skip tickets for the Turles event which is actually has a better exchange shop but for any event any event that releases like this you want to make sure to buy the energy tickets and skip tickets first because they actually enable you to play the game and actually grind through it as fast as possible you need energy tickets to play and you need skip tickets to actually grind through it without actually playing it every time which is why i advise that you clear all the challenges going through it first time round which will actually make your life 100 times easier like i've done i've got stars on literally everything except that one obviously because i haven't done it before which I'm going to do actually now on video for you guys. And I'm just going to blitz through all of these and use skip tickets with the right team formation. So it just depends on what you want, honestly. Um, I think I'm going to be going for Z-Power at all times. But because I don't have Turlers and... Um, Turlers and... If we go back to the news, so I can show you guys the team formation. I don't have it on decks, but it will be in the video edited on the right. If we go back to the news... Um, because I don't have Turlers in the new Goku, I won't be getting the maximum possible Z power drops. So I'm gonna wait. I don't want to summon, but I'm gonna have to. I feel like I'm, I have to as well. I want Goku, and Turlers is really good regardless. But I'm gonna be using one of these team formations um, the screw drop, dented steel, or the mystery part drops because I'll be getting the most of those. So I can actually buy the skip tickets and the um, energy tickets. And once I finish buying those, I'll try just to use the team formation I have for the Z power drop so I can get the maximum potential out, out of it. Because the drops will actually be a lot. Um, they buffed the drops, I believe they did for the Trunks Youth event. So I hope that's remained the same. But um, yeah, I'm going to create a team formation for um, actually the, the, um, the mystery part because you can buy both skip tickets and energy tickets for it then I'd go with that uh, the screw one next because there's skip tickets available for it and then I'm gonna actually tackle um, all of these so if I actually go into them uh, this one here this one's urban district 2 you can get every type of thing so you need to make sure that you know what you're carrying if I go to this one here what team you're carrying I mean grassy planes it's only z power so when you go through it make sure you got the z power team i sneezed there but i had to mute i was not sneezing on camera um if we go to this one here grassy planes eight uh we got z power so make sure you got the z power formation uh this one here oh i just went through that but z power uh just checking through it just so you guys can see and then this one's Z-Power 2, Urban District 3. And I believe this one's going to be Z-Power as well. Uh, Z-Power Z Battle. But this one you can do repeatedly because it doesn't have an uh, amount of time left. So this one's the one that you're going to be grinding. I don't recommend grinding it until like the, the last couple of days. Because especially if you're not going to summon on the Goku and Turlers, you won't be getting the maximum amount of drops. So you won't be using your skip tickets and energy tickets efficiently. But because you can do discounts and you can possibly pull them, once you, if you do pull them and you're lucky then you'll be able to use this battle most efficiently 
which is why I don't recommend actually doing this until the last couple of days unless you're in a rush unless you're a youtuber and you want to showcase him but go ahead but that's not going to be me I, I'm not too fast about Napa at all so just make sure you're using the right team formation for every single battle so you can get the maximum possible drops like I said for this one I'm going to be using the mystery part because it actually drops everyone because I don't have the maximum of power Z power um, team formation I don't have Turles and um, Goku but for these ones, because they're actually Z power only, I'm actually going to be using the Z power team formation. So hopefully that helps you out in that aspect. Um, the only reason I said the, the Turles event will actually help you out is because if you go to the exchange shop, you can actually grind out these two characters. And these two characters, if I'm not mistaken, will actually boost units uh, for the Turles event. Hopefully I'm not bugging out. I'm bugging out, I'm bugging out, I'm bugging out. I'm bugging out differently. But another reason for that was the exchange shop. <laughs> the exchange shop is really good. So if you've got energy tickets, you can actually play this event instead of using it in that event. It's by your choice, obviously. So yeah, I'm just going to end off the video by playing that last, um, that last battle uh, that I haven't done yet. And I'm going to use the skip tickets on all of them. So I'm just going to show that like on a fast forward speed. But that's pretty much the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative. If I did help you out, make sure to press the subscribe button. We're on this grant to 10k subs. Don't just be watching and don't be subscribing. Do me that favor and press that red button. Like I said at the start of the video, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. Comments are more important than anything else to me. I push them more than likes because that's the interaction with you guys. So if you leave one, I'll definitely respond to it. But besides from that, my social medias, like I said, they're all on the left. My name's Akashi, and I'll see you guys in the next one.